community action, Orange Beach community action project. Um, and while we're doing that, I'll just mention that we're now on day four of the festival, which runs until Sunday, November the 8th. And um, if you haven't got a program guide, um, grab one inside, they're available on the front desk. We've got over 100, about 150 events taking place um, over a 12 day period starting last Wednesday and going through to Sunday. Um, everything from this kind of walk to um, community feasts to poetry events to films, uh, theater, all kinds of activity um, in all parts of the neighborhood. Most of the events are free or by donation. And uh, thank you very much for coming out today. And now it's my pleasure to turn the microphone over to her Farley um, and the Carnegie Community Action Project. I should say that I really admire this group. Um, they do tremendous work in the downtown east side. And um, um, Herb is really, and uh, his team, they really work very strongly with the grassroots community here to fight for social housing, for human rights in our community. So please join me in giving these guys a great big round of applause for the work that they do. Thank you very much. Terry, also, Terry, you should say about the media. Sorry, Sorry um, I've been asked to uh, just quickly reference the fact that we have AHA Media here. Um, they've been contracted by the festival to support um, of the promotion of the work that we're doing here in the community. Um, if you do not want to be uh, viewed by the camera, just simply step aside or just ask Richard. Uh, uh, sorry, um, yeah, it's Richard. Richard, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, okay. and he will not uh, include you in the video. And if you just walked up again, just um, this is me, and she'll be touching the donations for the walk. Yeah, uh, ten dollars for my resident, my resident, and. $10 for non-residents, pay as you can for local people. Thank you very much. Good luck. Okay. Hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming, especially on uh, overcast Halloween Saturday morning. Um, I know, I certainly didn't want to get up and do a walking tour today, uh, but um, the audience is here, so that helps. Before we get started, I would like to acknowledge the territory that this work is taking place on today. For over 10,000 years, this area now known as Vancouver has been occupied by the Musqueam, the Tsleil-Waututh, and the Skomish people. When I say this land is unceded, I mean this land has never been sold, it has never been officially taken over in conquest and it has never been given freely as a gift. We need to remember that, and we need to honor that. In fact, the housing crisis that we're experiencing now has its roots in the very foundation of this city. This city, the act of establishing this city, this place of people. Those people, it was criminalized for them to have a gathering of more than four or five people. It was criminalized to say our prayers, to sing our songs. And that is couched in an ideology of white superiority. It was justified by saying that our practices were less than, and that the Euro, well at the time it was the European way, now it's the Euro Canadian way or the Western way, was superior and therefore the displacement of these people that is continuing to this day was justified. The city has a long history of displacement. Uh, talking about the uh, Coast Salish people's displacement is just the beginning. We'll also be talking a little bit about the Japanese Canadian people and now the Low Income people. Um, do any of my uh, co-presenters want to say anything before we leave? But I, I just want to say thank you for coming. And I think I forgot to introduce myself. My English name is Herb Barley, but my traditional Niskat name is Gwengado Amakut. Gwengado Amakut. From my father, I come from the Niskat and the Haida people. 
from my late mother. I come from the Nichano and the Klingit people. None of those four nations' territories are anywhere near this, ter this territory. So even though I was born and raised in Vancouver, and I plan on staying here to the day I die, I still consider myself a guest in this territory. And I say this at least weekly, sometimes five or six times in a week. But it's important, me, it's important for me to say that. I was born and raised here, I plan on dying here, but I am still a guest. So I wonder, do I need this? Maybe? Bravo. Thank you, her. Thank you, her, for doing that role. Uh, my name is Maria, and I work for the Carnegie Community Action Project, which is organizing this tour today. And so Carnegie Community Action Project has been organizing in the neighborhood maybe since the early 2000s. We did a visioning project in 2007 when we got the input from hundreds of low-income residents here in the Downtown East Side to see what they want to see in their neighborhood. And that's the mandate of our organization came from that. And so we tried to implement what low-income people want to see in that neighborhood. And that includes better housing, more affordable housing, higher welfare rates. Uh, and we've been also be working to bring attention to gentrification and the loss of low-income housing. Uh, and so that's kind of what the tour will be about today as well. And so the co-presenters are, who lead the tour is Herb, Victoria, and also Fraser Stewart, who's giving an interview over there. Um, and I'll hand it over to Victoria. Uh, okay. Hello, my name is uh, Victoria Bow. I'm, uh, I'm also a visitor from uh, Alberta. But I've been here for 25 years, and uh, I've seen some really good things about this community. You know, there's a sense of belonging, even though it's got its issues. We, you know, with a lot of addictions, mental illness, homelessness, and that. But you know, people have uh, they learn to accept each other and really um, help each other in many, many ways. You know that. So you know, it's not all bad. Okay. So, you know, as you walk through this tour and that, you'll, you'll witness a lot of stuff, but there is good things. Don't look at the bad things, okay? All my relations. 